Hello, and welcome to this episode of What Does This Package Do? I'm your host, Nafiel, and today we're going to be taking a look at both default dict as well as counter that are present inside of the collections package. So, without further ado, let's head in there. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a list of events. Now, in this list, we're going to have different kinds of events. Some of them are going to be about the mouse, some of them are going to be about a particular button, and some of them are going to be about entering and exiting the page. These kinds of lists are very common when you're dealing with trying to understand user behavior. Now, if you're confused about how I got so many list items automatically created, I use a live template and I use something that I created myself. So the first thing that we're going to do is count the frequency of events. This means we're going to count how many times a certain event has occurred in the event list. To do this, we're going to use default dict with a factory function of int. Now, if that seems weird to you, don't worry. We're going to fire up the console and explain why we're doing what we're doing. So let's just launch the console. The first thing we're going to do is invoke int as a function. And when we do that, we get zero. The second thing we're going to do is declare a lambda that returns zero and call it a. So when we invoke a, we get zero. Now these are both functions. And when we pass this as the first argument, or what we call the factory function for default dict, what we're going to see is that that function is going to be called whenever there is a key that we want to look up that is missing. So in this case, we have a key called event one and we're adding to that. And if we look that up in event frequency, we're going to see that that is a one. Now, if we create a new default dict with lambda that returns zero, and we do the same thing, this time calling it event two, when we look up that particular event or that particular key in event frequency two, we're also going to get one because whenever there's a key missing, it automatically initializes that key at zero. Okay, let's head back to counting events. So for every event in events, what we're going to do is add that event to the event frequency dictionary and increase its occurrence by one. So increase the value of that key by one. Now, because not all the events are going to exist there, whenever we refer to a key that doesn't exist, it's going to create it at zero by invoking int. Lastly, I'm just going to pretty print event frequency and make sure that is imported. Okay, so let's just quickly run that. So we have a lot of different events and their frequencies. Okay, so let's get out the run panel and back to our code. Now that we have our frequencies, let's try categorizing the different events. So we are going to get the category by splitting on the hyphen in the middle of each event. And so the category is going to be the first value of that split list. Now we're just going to have to create a default dict for this to store the category and its related events. So we're just going to go up to the top and basically create an event category variable that is a default dict with set as the function to call when a key doesn't exist. So now we have event categories, and in a particular category, we are going to add uh, that particular event to the mix. Let's just print that out. And run it. Okay. Uh, there seems to be something wrong here. We get category map to category. Okay, so the issue here is that we added the category and not the events, and now we should be able to see the category as well as the different events that exist for it. 
let's just dive into line 54 and see what's happening there. So we're just going to set a breakpoint and uh, start the debugger. Now, if you can see here, we have event categories and event frequency. So we're just going to take a look at event categories. We've already set the default factory, which is set. And as we go through the loop, we're going to see new events coming in and they are going to be added under the different categories. So here we have mouse, and now we have, under mouse, we have both mouse hover and mouse click, or left click for that matter. So if we go over it, what's going to happen in, in the set is that if, a, if an event already exists, it's not going to increase the size of the set because only one uh, of the same element can exist within a set. Because of the properties of set, what this means is we get the category and only the distinct events under that particular category. So now that we're done debugging, what we're going to do is just disable that breakpoint, finish running the program, take a look at the console, everything seems right, yep, and we are just going to close that. Now we're counting frequencies with default dict int, but there's something that we can do that's even faster, and that's using the counter class. Now the counter class is basically default dict with an int as factory, but with some added benefits. So if we just replace uh, default dict with int and just get rid of that for loop, and if we just print uh, this out, you're going to see that we get just about the same thing. So let's just investigate what this counter class does for us by debugging uh, on line 53. And here we have event frequency, which is of class counter. And these are the keys that are available for it. Heading into the console, let's just try a few things out. Now, one of the most useful methods on counter is something called most common, which gives you a list of tuples that shows you the key and its corresponding frequency, and it orders them by the most frequent to least frequent. So here, if you take a look, um, the highest number is page enter, which is 15. Now, let's try adding another event to the list, and in this case, we're going to add page enter. Let's take a look at what we get. We don't see an increase in the number of page enters, but we do see a bunch of letters over here, so we need to fix that. Let's do that by using the subtract method and getting rid of page enter the same way we updated it. Okay, now we have a bunch of zeros for letters. Now, before we get rid of all those unnecessary keys, let's just add page enter in the way that it was supposed to be added. And let's see if that works. Print that out. Okay, we have 16 page enters and still a bunch of letters with zeros for values. Let's just pretty print that so that we can get a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Okay, so it's mostly letters, but they all have, well, also a hyphen, but they all have a zero for the value. So let's just get a list of keys that have zero for values and put them in a list using a list comprehension. Well, let's just call that to remove. And what we're gonna do for each key and to remove, we are just going to delete that key from event frequency. It is a dictionary at the end of the day. And let's see if that solves the problem by pretty printing it. And from the looks of things, it seems like it does. Okay, so let's stop, minimize, and get rid of that breakpoint. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching.